Oh, what the fuck? This is gonna be incredibly brief since I know y'all are here for the funny enough for me and my empty jibber jabbering, so I'll leave a little time mark, you know, a little chapter section. Okay, sweet. 2,000 subs. A goal I was expecting to reach in like two years, but holy moly, y'all knocked that out of the park. Into the Atlantic Ocean. I never expected to be here today, and the fact that I now have a YouTube channel with over 2,000 people subscribed and enjoy my content is just absolutely mind-boggling. I'm, like, I'm destroyed. Not to mention my highest viewed video right now is something about like it's stupid as a Papa G meme. You what? Again, thank you so much and enjoy this video on my stupid experience with a VR shooter game. I may call this 9mm, but you call it breakfast. That does fake. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> he just disappeared, dude. <laughs> hey, 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 all of you amazing people, and welcome to Pavlov, a VR game that revolves around the basics of military combat, such as meeting an entire zombie apocalypse with a 12 gauge fired by Saiga 12. Dog, this is awesome. Oh. Or running around a cargo map with two knives in hand like an absolute troglodyte, turn that anything that moves into a legal description of Swiss cheese. Doing it virtually though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. I like it, cut cheese. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. And after talking about the social qualities of VR in the previous video. I'm dirty Dan. <laughs> no, I'm dirty Dan. I'm dying. Yeah, be, just I'm be, be dying. It's time I show you the power of communication via delivery of 50 Action Express. Hey, the cheese tax. I'm not going to slander your brain power by explaining to you what Pavlov is because, well, Pavlov has been around since the pinnacle of VR history. It's one of the most known VR shooters to this day, and its mobile slash quest version is still incredibly fun for how littered it is with them. Oh, shoot. No, bro, <laughs> Subject terminated. Send in the oh, cleanup team. Okay. Even though I'm clearly not the best of the game, I'm still gonna love every funny ragdoll and adrenaline pumping flesh that I encounter. Something that's always true about Pavlov is just the fact that it's at its best. You are gonna have some of the best fun in existence. I got him, I got him, I got him. And if that excites you too, then oh boy, have I got that video for you. But wait, why do your boss do? three days to make. How in the world can I even start this? How about the most common introduction, the game modes? Because holy crap, does Pablo oh, contain up? a lot of game Man. modes? Don't try to hide. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Deathmatch, or DM, is a free-for-all, free-from-brain, free-from-making-any-logical-decisions mode where your only objective is to spawn, get blasted in the face multiple times by an M4 or AK wielding maniac, spawn again and again, and either get destroyed by the same guy or, hell, you destroy everyone else for like 10 minutes straight. Two, son. Yeah! Like they say, one hand. I mean, screw it. That got it. <laughs> okay. I've just gotta say, this is probably the best game of to start with. Oh boy, shooting bad guys with guns is so fun. Oh, guys, listen, hey, listen, there's nothing here. Step is not real! <laughs> 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 Alright bro, chill. 
<laughs> Finally, I can live my fantasy of being a typical brick shit geezer. Quick stop at Toby's and load up that plate. <laughs> the best context I can give to this game mode is just that every millisecond of gameplay is just pure serotonin from start to finish. And I'm not even lying when I say this, it is harder than Markiplier's flying knee punch combo. I do. <laughs> Sliding out of the DM, we slide into TDM, or Team Deathmatch, which is one of the most bare-bones simplistic ways to play, with two teams trying to get more kills than the other. But considering how basic it is, you might just play DM. Which is why I always like to spice it up with a little World War II action. Oh, that dinner plate is awesome. Just the fact alone that I can have the choice to run an entire group of soldiers with a pair of potato mashers in hand. Potato mashers! Potato! Or bulldoze an entire American unit in a German Panther is beyond amazing. How do I drive this literal 45 tons of German steel? You drive it over people. Oh shoot! I need to get out. 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 <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking of patriotic, for World War II, if you're looking for the best shotgun available to you at the time. Take no alternative than the train. I'm not anyone rocking one. I'm kind of getting away from my points, like, what I'm really trying to drill into your head is how fun even the oldest of VR shooters can be, because even if there's something like Contractors, Onwards, or the newest edition, Breachers, which is kind of like R6, ha ha, Fungal, Pavlov still manages to be seen as a light among all of them, even if it's kind of like that one boomer on the porch just screaming at the new titles. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. Coming back to the basic game modes, let's talk about what I like to call the sweatiest game mode ever, Search and Destroy. Or, in other words, She is cool, baby! I got the magnum on them, watch out. Watch out for our flank, by the way, you're about to die. I guess we win. I don't think there's any other game mode where the difference between a toxic and fun player can be so extremely volatile that even touching the concept of search and destroy will end in a world ending class nuclear explosion that even cockroaches won't be able to escape. One second there, dude. One second. That's all it took for them to just. <laughs> so, leaving that turbulent concept of a mode alone, let's go to. I don't think that there's anything that can compare to the chaotic good or evil of Pavsy. It's so collectively double sided in terms of good players versus bad players. It can truly be the most horror-related experience that an individual can have. And I'm not talking about skill-wise, I'm talking about a reaction to getting your dome blown up. One. I think that starting off with one of the most powerful weapons in order to maximize chaotic events is just an amazing way to start overall, since you can zoom out of spawn and blast somebody who's already looting for items. Boom bada bam, that's just Pavsy. You're next. I won't go that much further into the rabbit hole that is Pavsy slash Daisy just because it's an amazing experience to boot in order to truly experience it.
you really gotta try it for yourself. And like I said before, it's completely free on Quest, with the only tax being on your momentary sanity. The cheese tax! Audio jungle. Audio jungle. I'm telling you about it again. Screw you, it's my video. I consider this to be the top game mode for Pavlov as a whole. There is no game mode I would rather be in than zombies, especially when it comes to the non-stop four-player Left 4 Dead type action, and I honestly will just show you how much fun it is with these basic clips. <laughs> Yeah, I call those basic. Those are basic clips, not mags. Yeah, these are actually clips. Even though I was one of the top on the leaderboard in all those rounds that you saw, it was only because I was running at the horde like a literal piece of ghoul bait, and everyone else was sitting on a bunch of barrels, all having fully automatic Saga 12s or absolutely terrifying M249 saw box fed machine guns. Oh my goodness, it is so good. Yo, again, thank you so much for 2K. I really never thought this day would be like. I would be making animations and scripts and full out doubling my sub counts like by the end of the year. Oh my goodness, thank you again a million times. Well, 2,000 times. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for your time. Like, like the last video I, for, as of this time right now, was like 650 views, I believe. That is crazy, dude. And the shorts are blowing up on my, like, view count. It's, like, astronomical, I would say, pretty much. I'm thinking of fancy words. All I can really think of- Pizza time. <laughs> <laughs>